Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up? What's good? Welcome back. So today I'm showcasing a wig that was sent to me by Sam's Beauty. Sam's Beauty, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. They sent over an older unit by Sensational and it's from their Supermodel series. The name of this wig is called Natalia. I have Natalia in a T1B slash burgundy color. Natalia does come with a six by four parting space area. So it goes six inches across here and then four inches back. It also comes with combs near the center and a comb in the back with adjustable straps. On the stock cards it says it's a Swiss lace silk based wig so there is like a silk base like cover underneath the cap here and my favorite part is that it's 100% human hair hybrid mix. That means it's a mix of human hair fibers and synthetic fibers. So as you can see by the title of this video this wig is going to undergo some changes, okay? I'm gonna give you my thoughts on the wig in its natural state before I go into the cutting. So let's just dive right into the pros. First pros to this unit would definitely be the texture. This human hair hybrid feels really nice. I actually reviewed another unit from this same supermodel series, Suniva, in a blonde color, and that wig feels amazing even if you don't like blonde i highly suggest you get it in a number two color gorgeous wig and they use the same fibers for natalia here and i really like it it feels like a nice yucky texture i am getting a little bit of tangling but not too much considering that it is a long curled synthetic unit so i'm really happy about that if you want to check out my review of Suniva, it'll be linked in the description box down below another process unit is the parting space this is an older unit so no it is not what we've grown accustomed to when it comes to 13 by 4 and 13 by 6s but at the time when this came out it was like well, okay now i have some parting space other than having just a preset part i think it's still enough parting space to be able to do a nice slip over method like i've done here or even do a half up half down style i also think the rooting on this wig looks pretty good now as far as cons to this unit my main con is the style they dropped the ball on the styling when it came to natalia like, all here it's so luscious and voluminous and beautiful and they just they just i don't know what they did down here like the curls just fall completely flat i really don't like it you guys so i'm going to try to judge her up a little bit with my handy dandy scissors to um you know see what i can turn her into because i think this is a solid wig i think it just needs a little bit of doctoring up with it being so long it's definitely way more prone to tangling so cutting it off is actually gonna add some wears to this wig you see what i'm talking about here like look at this so I am just gonna do this as a talk through, okay? Normally I speed it up, but I want you guys to understand why I'm doing what I'm doing. As I look at this wig, I'm like, okay, I see what I like over here. And when it comes to cutting, the one thing I think people should remember is to cut maybe a little bit lower than where they want it to be. I see that I think I want it to be right here, but I'm gonna cut right here instead because I'm trying to give myself room in case I make a mistake, okay? Now, I know I did that very jagged, very dodgy, but I'm fine with it because this is not where this is ending, okay? All oh, that's gone. All right. I'm liking her already. You see that? So, I cut off that much, and now it's up to me if I want to keep it at this length or not. I notice that sometimes if you cut a little bit too short from the beginning, you know, you're more prone to making mistakes or wishing that you hadn't cut it that short. I started here, and I also think that it is good to cut at an angle so when I'm cutting here I'm not cutting straight across anymore I'm cutting at an angle especially when I'm trying to frame my face I think that looks better now when I'm trying to frame my face I want it to go in a V shape so essentially this 
area would be cut off. So again, I'm going at an angle and I'm just gonna cut. Now, this is not a straight wig, so I'm not too hell bent on it being super precise. If this were a straight wig, it'd be a different story. But you see how already this is looking full. It's looking a lot better in my opinion. You see that? You see the difference? Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And this part, I'm gonna speed up. So this is how she is looking after cutting her. That took literally no time. Let me just show you a 360. This is how she's looking in the back here. I can't, I don't know if it's uneven. I'm sure I'll know when I'm editing. But right now I like this a lot better. Now again, I wanna cut at an angle because I want this to frame my face. So I'm literally taking the scissors, angling it and going down slightly as I trim, okay? All right, child, so this is what Natalia is looking like now that I've cut her, and I think she looks 10 times better. She looks very healthy, very full. You see the curls, the body. I mean, this is what I wish she came like in the beginning. Or if they're gonna make her long, they need to do this throughout the entire unit. This color is very pretty. That's another pro to this unit. I really like the burgundy on sensational units. This is pretty. How are you all feeling about this? How are you all feeling about the cut that I gave her? How do you feel about the curls? I think the style looks really nice like this. The curls themselves right here, you know, they're okay, but really this is like the it part of the unit. Like this bang, oh, look. I can also cut some of this too. If you are familiar with my channel, you are really used to me using scissors. And I just want all of you to feel just as comfortable as I do. Literally, that took no time for me to simply cut off basically half of the unit, if not more than half, and then make sure that I'm cutting at an angle in order to get more of the V shape that I'm talking about. So let me know how you feel about Natalia in the comments down below. How did you feel about her long? How do you feel about her short? What is your opinion on cutting wigs? Is it something that you like to do? Or if you don't like to do it, please let me know why. I love when y'all talk to me in the comments. It really makes my day when y'all drop a comment. So sound off below. And if you are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to tap the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Currently we are on the road to 10K, so I'm super excited. So come join the family. Sam's Beauty, thank you so much for sending me Natalia. Overall, I do think she's a very pretty unit, especially in this style right here. I recommend her. If you wanna purchase her, all links will be in the description box down below and if you want to see some of my latest videos check them out over here to the right of me thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye